new at 10. He's one of the top chefs in Milwaukee and he faces a challenge like no other. Dan Jacobs balances his role at four restaurants with fighting a debilitating disease. We sat down with Dan in his newest restaurant as he's preparing to raise money to find a cure. In the kitchen, thyme is an ingredient in short supply. Is this supposed to be hot? But Chef Dan Jacobs is up against the clock in a way he never imagined. Um, this is as many things as we can possibly do, I want to do while we, I can physically do it. We also want to cut it so that you can actually eat it by picking it up. Jacobs is one of the chefs behind a growing empire of Milwaukee restaurants. This is his new place, the funky French joint Fauntleroy. Jacobs opened it while battling a disease that could one day steal his ability to do this work. For the most obvious sign, just listen. My throat, like my voice, it always sounds like everybody's like, oh, did you party too hard? It's like, no, this is just my voice now. Uh, my voice is going. Um, and that's the, I think it's, I think it's the first thing people notice. Jacobs is living with Kennedy's disease. It's a rare progressive neuromuscular disorder that is wasting away his muscles, especially those in his arms and legs. If I start getting real tired, I'll start dragging my feet, I'll trip, I'll fall. Now, most of the time, I mean, I, I don't know, I can fall, I can roll with, roll with the punches, but like, it's all it takes is that one time where you fall the wrong way and that's when you really hurt yourself. We have here is a little lemon shiro dashi vinaigrette. Despite that, Jacobs is still in the kitchen two or three days a week. Are you limited in what you can do mm -hmm. in the kitchen? Yep, yep, there's things I can't do. Since his diagnosis three years ago, Jacobs has changed his diet and added exercise. That and a lot of help pushes him through the bad days. That has kind of helped me, um, whether it's placebo or not, um, extend my ability to do things longer. He also finds strength in bringing attention to this strange disease. On Monday, Jacobs hosts his annual Dim Sum Give Some Benefit, a dinner with other Milwaukee chefs to fund Kennedy's disease research. What have the doctors prepared you for three years from now, six years from now? There's not a lot of great information. So that's one of the things about having a rare disease is there's not a lot of information. That's part of the reason why we raise money. Faced with that uncertainty, Dan Jacobs just keeps working. So you end up with nice little chicken cracklings. Hoping to squeeze in everything possible while keeping his illness in check. Tickets are still available for the fundraiser on Monday. We have a link at TMJ4.com. Also remarkable, uh, Carol, uh, with his business partner, Dan Van Wright. Dan Jacobs is in the running for the second year in a row for a James Beard Award. So uh, he is working at the peak of his career while he's still battling this disease. Let's hope they can find a cure. Yeah. It would be wonderful.